Our planet is more than 70% water, and yet we haven't explored even half of the ocean. To this day, we know little about what's beneath the waves. In the past several years, we've discovered several interesting things in the ocean, and here are some things you might have missed. From the immortal jellyfish to the mysterious Bermuda Triangle, here are the 15 most terrifying things recently discovered in the ocean. Number 15. The Immortal Jellyfish There are a lot of incredible creatures in the world, and the majority of them live in the depths of the ocean. This creature is officially known as Turritopsis dornii. This small, transparent jellyfish lives in the darkest depths of the Mediterranean. To understand the reason why this jellyfish is so special, let's talk about a few things, starting with its lifespan. It starts out as a small, transparent lava that spirals through the water. It will dart through the ocean until it finds something it can latch itself to before metamorphosing into a polyp, a creature that looks similar to a small sea anemone. In most cases, the life of an organism will end with its maturity, then death. However, this jellyfish is quite different. As it matures, it will sink to the ocean floor and slowly begin to decay. But that doesn't mark the end of this creature's lifespan. Instead of dying, this jellyfish will enter a state known as Medusa as it transforms into polyps. New jellyfish will emerge from these small transparent blobs. This mind-blowing discovery stumped scientists all around the world and it completely changed how we see organisms on Earth. This jellyfish can be compared to a mythical phoenix that rises from its very own ashes. How cool is that? This creature can regenerate and multiply from its own body. This means that this creature is essentially immortal as it continues to turn back into a polyp, mature, die, and grow into a jellyfish over and over and over again. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Sunken City of Cuba Every time deep-sea archaeologists find a sunken city anywhere on the planet, the mythical city of Atlantis is always mentioned. It was only expected that when an offshore engineer named Paulina Zelitsky and her husband Paul Weinzweig discovered ancient structures underwater, rumors about the lost city of Atlantis being found immediately spread. The underwater structures were discovered by sonar and videotape devices about 395 feet beneath the waves off the coast of Cuba. Because of its treacherous location, the site was incredibly hard to reach. It was impossible to see the site immediately, but the sonar fetched enough data to give a rough picture of the entire ancient city. According to the husband and wife who discovered it, the city contained simple to complex structures of varying sizes. Some of the structures on the site were about 400 meters wide, while some were as high as 40 meters. Needless to say, the entire city looked like it was built by an advanced civilization. However, the strangest thing about this discovery is the fact that no one has dared to excavate the site to this day. Some claim that the reason behind this is the location of the site. Moreover, the budget needed to safely reach the area is also incredibly high. These theories are quite sensible but some believe that the real reason is that there was something more menacing about the sunken Cuban city. Number 13. Giant Eyeball It's normal to see dead sea creatures while walking along the shore, but it's definitely terrifying to see a massive eyeball almost the same size as a football. That's why when beachgoers on a Florida beach spotted a massive eye while walking along the seashore, everyone all over the world went crazy at the news. Aside from the massive eye, there was nothing else in the vicinity that could indicate what creature the organ belonged to before it was removed. It was also horrifying to think about how a single eye managed to separate from the rest of the unknown creature's body to begin with. Strange and paranormal theories were created, but experts at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission immediately halted the speculations with their own theory. Although it has never been genetically tested, Experts at the organization firmly believe that the massive eye didn't belong to a sea creature, but rather a massive swordfish. You know, these massive creatures with needle-like bills that look like they can easily pierce you. Although the eye didn't belong to a giant octopus or a horrifying and previously unknown monster, it was still incredibly creepy nonetheless. Number 12. The Corivrecken Maelstrom Perhaps you've already seen a small whirlpool in real life. This swirling water is often mesmerizing to look at, but make them bigger and they'll look like something out of a disaster movie. 
That's why people who get the chance to see the fierce whirlpool eternally swirling and churning between the islands of Jura and Scarba in Scotland are often simultaneously awed and horrified by the sight. This whirlpool has been around for a long time, and it's the largest whirlpool or maelstrom in history. There are a lot of legends surrounding whirlpools across the world. Some tales describe these swirling and violent waters as a portal to another dimension. Fictional stories often talk about maelstroms as mysterious phenomena that can easily sink a ship, no matter how big, and make it disappear like a bubble. But what is the science behind this strange discovery? The Gulf of Corrivrecken, where this maelstrom can be observed, has a massive rock pinnacle 95 feet below the surface. Because of this, the water is forced upward when it hits the tip of the massive rock, causing the swirling motion. It's quite anticlimactic, but still impressive to see nonetheless. Number 11. World War II Remains in the Chuck Lagoon In the early months of 1944, the United States of America attacked the Japanese military base at Truck Lagoon in Micronesia. Now known as Chuck Lagoon, this area was once a major naval and logistical hub for the Japanese. Here, they gathered their battleships, submarines, aircraft carriers, and other weapons for World War II. In an effort to destroy them, the United States Army launched Project Hailstone, a mission to destroy everything in the Chuck Lagoon. Unfortunately for the U.S. Army, the Japanese troops already anticipated a raid and removed most of their weapons and craft from the area. However, this didn't mean that the mission was a complete failure. When the U.S. Army attacked, they managed to send 47 ships and more than 270 aircraft to the bottom of the lagoon. Additionally, they also claimed the lives of more than 1,700 Japanese servicemen. Those who are brave enough to explore the bottom of the Chuck Lagoon can still see the remnants of the bloody Project Hailstone to this day. Gas masks, bottles of beer, shipwrecks, planes, phonograph records, and many other traces of men can be seen underwater. Just like how they're all covered with debris and algae, they're nothing but a reminder of the murky and bloody past of mankind. Number 10. Big Mouth Fish The gulper eel is definitely among the strangest creatures discovered in the ocean. Just imagining this creature living in fresh and shallow waters makes my skin crawl. The gulper eel is an incredibly strange creature with a mouth significantly larger than the rest of its body. It looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Fortunately for us and for their prey, these creatures only grow up to six feet at most. I mean, that's still terrifying, but we're still lucky that they don't grow as big as whales. Can you imagine how much more terrifying the ocean would be if that were the case? You see, this creature has a mouth that is loosely hinged. If it sees prey that it can't fit in its mouth, it simply unhinges its jaw like a pelican opening its mouth incredibly wide. Now imagine this creature reaching more than 10 feet long. That's nightmare material right there. Luckily, aside from their small size, these creatures prefer to live hundreds to thousands of feet underwater, where only similarly bizarre-looking fish compete for mates and food. Number 9. Strange Purple Orb Purple is a color that is considered rare and exotic in nature. There's a reason why it was the color of the elite and royalty in the past. This color is relatively rare in nature, especially underwater. It's one of the reasons why this mysterious purple orb clinging to a canyon off the coast of Southern California quickly caught the eye of several researchers. A submersible first spotted the creature 5,000 feet underwater, and it wasn't hard considering its vibrant color. One of the researchers who spotted the strange organism was immediately stumped when they saw it. Others on board were also confused and were unable to identify exactly what the creature was. It looked like a lumpy, spiky embryo, and initially, experts deduced that it was exactly what they guessed, a strange embryo of a creature. But it turned out that the answer to the mystery was something much simpler. After examining the creature and observing it as it moved, they realized that the purple orb was not an embryo but most likely a sea slug or a close relative. Number 8. The Kraken Most of us have already heard about the fearsome giant sea monster of Norse legends, the Kraken. This massive sea monster is a gigantic cephalopod-like creature that's capable of sinking even the largest ships and vessels. In Scandinavian stories, this creature caused massive whirlpools and capsized ships. Although they're merely glorified octopus, these monsters are formidable and terrifying subjects of legends. 
Stories that date as far back as 1200 AD talk about vessels getting pulled under by extremely massive tentacles into the deepest part of the ocean. The twilight zone, where the sun's rays don't reach, is allegedly where this massive creature resides. Did you know that the Kraken is actually real? In the past several years, scientists managed to capture some of the most massive squid in the world. Their size can't be compared to the mythological Kraken, but they're still pretty terrifying. The most recent squid spotted underwater measured no less than 30 feet long, but in the past, specimens as long as 43 feet were recovered. Fortunately, these guys stayed 2,000 feet below the surface of the ocean, and they mostly prefer to be left alone. But just in case you see a massive tentacle while diving, just know that there's always an incredibly slim chance that you've come across the legendary Kraken. Number 7. Omens of Disaster a three-meter-long fish shocked the residents living near the shores of Tonsupa, Ecuador earlier this year. The creature turned out to be an oarfish, a creature that only resides in the deep sea. Unlike whales, who are known to have the mysterious and strange habit of beaching themselves, oarfish are tied with an infamous rumor. Legends all around the world claim that when an oarfish is seen lying dead along the shore, it means that a disaster is about to befall the land. For instance, people in Japan believe that these creatures can predict tsunamis and earthquakes. Meanwhile, others believe that they were simply creatures who bring bad omens and ill fate. Number 6. The Mariana Trench Have you ever wondered what the deepest part of the ocean is? Well, it's none other than the Mariana Trench. This place is the deepest part of the ocean, and naturally the deepest location on Earth. With a depth of more than 36,000 feet, it isn't surprising that we're having a hard time exploring its entirety. To give you a clear picture as to how deep this trench is, imagine placing Mount Everest at the very bottom of the trench. Its peak would still be submerged by about 7,000 feet. We're all eager to learn more about this part of the ocean, but there are a lot of reasons why we simply can't venture into the trench. The conditions thousands of feet under the ocean's surface were never meant for mankind. However, thanks to modern discoveries, we made a little bit of progress in our goal of exploring and mapping the entirety of the ocean. So far, we've discovered strange creatures living in the Mariana Trench, including a sea roach that is several times bigger than its kin, living in the shallower parts of the ocean. Recently, experts spotted a sea amphipod in the Mariana Trench, and they noticed something strange about the sea creature. While analyzing it, they found traces of plastic in the animal's body, showing that pollutants present on Earth today are now reaching even what we thought was the farthest and most inaccessible place in the ocean. Number 5. Underwater Crop Circles In 1995, several divers exploring the waters off the coast of southern Japan encountered something strange on the sandy areas of the seabed. Several patterned circles with varying diameters of up to 7 feet were scattered across the area. Initially, those who saw the circles believed that it was created by fellow divers, but over the next few days, those who explored the area reported seeing the same pattern on the sand. It soon became apparent that someone or something strange was responsible for creating the patterns, which soon became known as underwater crop circles. Conspiracy theories immediately surrounded the phenomena, and it took almost an entire decade before the truth about crop circles was revealed. It turned out that the patterns were created by a male pufferfish. A small creature, only about five inches long, spends its time digging valleys and shallow trenches in the sandy bottom of the ocean. This tiny creature will spend its time perfecting the pattern for seven to nine days, until it's finally satisfied with the aesthetics of its creation. Now, you're probably wondering why such a tiny fish would exert immense effort to complete a pattern on the sand. Well, unlike other sea creatures, this species of pufferfish finds its mate by drawing on the sand. If the female pufferfish is impressed by the pattern, they will soon mate, and the middle of the circle will be used as their nest. Needless to say, it was pretty comical when conspiracy theorists who thought that the crop circles were alien messages learned that the patterns were ladyfish collars all along. And now it's time for today's topic. People on the yacht Macon were sailing on the waters of the South Pacific near the Vava'u Islands in Tonga when they encountered something strange in the water. When this crew realized what they were seeing, it was nearly too late to escape. Beneath the surface of the water was a volcano already erupting. The putrid smell surrounded the entire yacht, and soon enough, something astounding began to happen. After checking their surroundings, 
one of the crew members realized that a massive pumice stone was being pushed up by the erupting volcano. It wasn't long until the passengers of the yacht realized what they were seeing. It was the birth of a small island in the middle of the ocean. It was an unforgettable experience, and the sailors immediately snapped photos of what was unfolding right in front of them. Scientists were also delighted by the news, but by the time they reached the location where the new island was allegedly born, it had already sunk to the bottom of the ocean, never to be seen again. It was probably horrifying to witness the entire thing, especially if you have no idea about what was happening. Fortunately, the entire crew was safe, and they came back to land with a new tale to share. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. The Abyss The Abyss is among the scariest discoveries in the ocean. I'm not talking about hell or the underworld, but the area of the ocean that is so incredibly deep that no sunlight reaches it. Also known as the Twilight Zone, an area of the ocean that has been one of the most intriguing things under the Earth's waters. What lies in the abyss, and what type of creatures live in this treacherous part of the ocean? In an area where even the sun's rays can't reach, it's natural to think that no life exists. And yet, instead of a deserted region devoid of any life, the abyss is actually swarming with different organisms. Thousands of feet underwater, the pressure is much more immense, and the environment is incredibly different from the surface. For this reason, many consider the creatures living in the Twilight Zone to be the closest we've gotten to extraterrestrials. Most of the creatures in this part of the ocean stay in their habitat, but several of them swim toward the surface to feed before returning. Today, we recognize that this part of the ocean plays a major role in removing carbon dioxide from our planet's atmosphere and storing it for centuries. Our knowledge about this part of the ocean is fairly limited, and because of the changing climate, we might not have time to learn more about it. Number 3. Sunken Crosses What's creepier than seeing dozens of crosses erected on a small patch of land? It's seeing the same thing underwater. Anyone who doesn't know about the existence of the sunken crosses of Malpeak will surely swim the other way upon seeing the entire area. This underwater attraction is located 65 feet underwater in La Palma, Spain. In this patch of the ocean, 40 crosses covered with algae and small crustaceans stand silently. This creepy and haunting area is the only remembrance of a graveyard that was in the area more than 400 years ago. In 1570, the Canary Islands were overtaken and controlled by the Spaniards for over a century. However, they didn't anticipate that the islands would attract a lot of pirates because of their resources and wealth. Despite the warnings and the bad reputation of the area, a missionary named Ignacio de Azevedo traveled with his 39 Jesuit companions to La Palma. Little did they know that a tragic fate lay ahead of them. On the ocean, a crew of French pirates forcefully boarded the ship of the missionaries and claimed the entire thing as their own. The pirates also decided to claim the lives of all 40 people on board by weighing them down and watching them sink to the bottom of the ocean. What's crueler is that the island was only several meters away from the area. It wasn't until 1742 that the deaths of the men were recognized by Pope Benedict XIV, who declared them martyrs. In 2000, the crosses were dropped into the water in remembrance of the men's sacrifice for their faith. Number 2. Underwater Graves Lying 40 feet below the ocean waves, offshore Key Biscayne, Florida, is a city specifically built for the dead. This is the Atlantis Memorial Reef, also known as Neptune Memorial Reef. At the entrance of the site, a massive lion statue can be seen guarding a massive gate. Its menacing expression makes the entire necropolis look more intimidating. Covered with shells, crustaceans, and other sea organisms, the intricate structures that would have looked stunning above water look like something out of a horror movie. It's no wonder that the entire place was used as a grave meant to be the final place where the dead can finally rest for eternity. It was originally a site sponsored by the Neptune Society, a famous cremation company. On this site, people can visit their cremated loved ones underwater. To this day, the graveyard can be visited by all divers, especially those who simply want to experience the haunting beauty of the bronze and steel statues in the necropolis. However, guests are always reminded that the area is meant for the dead, and it might also get a little creepy especially if you visit it alone. Number 1. The Mystery of the Bermuda Triangle 
Located in the mythical section of the Atlantic Ocean, bordered by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, is a strange area where boats, ships, and planes disappear without a trace. This mysterious part of the ocean is known as the Bermuda Triangle, and it's arguably one of the most interesting places on Earth. Since the time of Christopher Columbus, this area has been shrouded in mystery. It covers around 500,000 square miles of land, and it was inevitable that several ships would enter its waters as part of their routes. More often than not, sailors and pilots who travel in this area encounter problems. Accounts of malfunctioning compasses and monstrous waves have been part of the many tales surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. One of the most popular cases that occurred in this area was the disappearance of the USS Cyclops. The massive Navy cargo ship measured a staggering 542 feet. Over 300 men were on board the vessel, along with about 10,000 tons of manganese. But before it could reach its destination, it encountered a strange problem while passing through the waters between Barbados and the Chesapeake Bay. What's strange is the fact that the wreckage was never discovered. Shortly after its disappearance, another vessel followed, and another, until people began noticing the strange pattern of disappearance in the area. This started a flurry of rumors that ranged from aliens to a massive octopus. To this day, much about the Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery. But recently, an Australian scientist claimed that he finally solved the reason behind the strange phenomena in the area. Krusilnitsky is a scientist who has been trying to unravel the secrets of the decades-old mystery. According to him, there was no mystery to solve to begin with. He claimed that the area experiences high traffic, and it was only natural that many planes and vessels encountered problems in the busy patch of the ocean. There's nothing supernatural, paranormal, or extraterrestrial happening around the Bermuda Triangle. Or at least, that's what Krusilnitsky claims. But is it really true that the mystery of the legendary area has been solved? What do you think about these strange discoveries? Let me know about your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.